Keeping the industry in accuracy, new DART offers remote injection equipment to treat livestock. Tammy Arinder is in Houston, Texas at the NCBA convention getting an update on the latest advancements to benefit cattle producers. Tammy? Being on the NCBA floor is an educational experience because with 340 plus exhibitors, there is something new to learn about here. One of the exhibitors is New Dart, and they've come here to be able to share with all of these cattle ranchers and producers what it means to take care of their animals and in a very unique way. I have with me Josh Newton with New Dart, and Josh, tell me a little bit about your product and what you do here. Sure, Graham, uh, Tammy, thanks to be with you. Um, so our product uh, really empowers. Um, uh, cattle ranchers, veterinarians, etc., to interact with their animals, mostly uh, at a distance, but to be able to deliver uh, various medications uh, safely and effectively. Talk about that remote delivery system. How does that work? Yeah, so RDS is uh, remote delivery systems, and it's really broken into uh, two categories, right? So we have our our, pro our projectors, which are the uh, dark guns, commonly referred to as dark guns, and we also have our RDDs. And uh, the RDDs are many people call them darts, um, and that's uh, that's the the vehicle to get the the medications to these animals. Talk about what makes you different from the other products on the market. Sure. So there's uh, really two primary features, one on the projector side, and that's our variable power control settings. These are uh, uh, control knobs, if you will, that uh, adjust the amount of velocity or muzzle pressure uh, to send those RDDs downrange to the animal, and, and that's really a, a defining factor on that side. In the RDD side, we have our patented slow inject technology, and what that's done is it's, it's reduced the rate of injection by up to 33%, and that minimizes uh, trauma to the animal at that that injection site, which is really important. You know, everybody that you talk to, they understand that we we want to do the least amount of harm as possible because we're, we're trying to make these animals healthier. Well, that's how I was going to ask you. What is the biggest benefit to the producer by doing it this way? Yeah, I think when I, when I look at it, I see um, stress reduction, I see uh, safety concerns, and, and when you start looking at it um, collectively as a whole, you really find uh, great advantages to this, and I think the, the effectiveness and the, and the safety concerns from not only the animal standpoint, but also the, uh, the uh, human standpoint is, is really great, so it's a great benefit there. If someone is new to RDS, what do you recommend they do? So the first step is always to create that VCPR, that vet client patient relationship. I think um, you know practicing with our products before they take it out in the field obviously is, is really important. And and our uh, education uh, platforms that we've built are really crucial to go through first. Uh, we've we spent a lot of time, and um, it's important to us that that education's at the forefront of what we do first, uh, because again we want the animals to be safe, we want the users to be safe. So I think those three things are. are are probably, uh, probably the best. Good. Josh, thank you so much for visiting with us here at the NCBA trade show floor. And of course, they've had a lot of people come by asking questions. If you're not here, want to learn more, you can go to their website. I'm Tammy Arinder in Houston, Texas at the NCBA convention. Back to you. Thank you so much, Tammy. Well, stay tuned as we'll head back to the trade floor in our next half hour to meet with a very special guest who you might have seen on our social media pages.